Okay, now we're going to continue on with part two, and we're going to use some of these tools that we presented in part one to follow an attempt to tune a note on a piano. This, this activity was done on the 43-inch Yamaha console, and we tried to tune the A4 key. Okay, the first starting point here was shown by this time trace up here, which you can see some beating going on. I'm plotting the amplitude of the wave from striking the A4 note versus the time. Down here I'm plotting a <coughs> fine grid spectrum of that note, looking just at the area around 440 hertz. I'm plotting from 440, 434 up to 446 hertz. You can see there's a Here's where I want to be, 440. I've got three, three peaks, one for each three strings, and I got a spread here between the two furthest apart peaks of 3.3 hertz. And up here you can see there's a, a period of the beating of about 0.3 seconds, which corresponds to 3.3 hertz. And here's the sound, and you can you can hear the beating. Okay, I made an adjustment and succeeded in pushing that one string clear to the left on the spectrum. So now I'm down here about 4.3 hertz away from this main peak. And up here is the time trace of that struck note, amplitude versus time. And you can see there's a period going on here, a beating period of about 2 tenths of a second, which corresponds to about 5 hertz which is consistent with this fine grid spectrum down here. And the sound is... So there's some more beating. Now I made some more adjustments and ended up with this setting. Up here the trace has got some things going on in it. It's not a perfectly decaying curve like you'd want, but it hasn't got as much beating going on. I've got all my power pretty close to 440 hertz. It's a it's a broad peak, it's kind of smeared, so you can see that probably beneath this peak there are probably where the existing of the uh, three strings, the peaks for each of the three strings. And here's the sound. And it um, sounds fairly close to, well, at least it hasn't got any beats. And here's a Another plot of that peak, except I'm plotting it versus cents. And you can see that I'm about two cents sharp. Here's the fine grid spectrum of the uh, second partial, up at around 880 hertz. This line here would be 880 hertz, and then this is we're plotting it against cents now. And we got three peaks showing up here and we're about three or four cents sharp. Now we'll go to the next partial. Okay, here's the partial at 1320. This line corresponds to 1320. And you can see that I got three peaks again, and there's some getting further away from the fundamental frequency, or not the, the uh, equal Equal, equal temperament frequency. About uh, this one peak is about seven or so cents sharp. So there's a trend here of the, the, the peaks are kind of splitting and the location of the peaks are starting to move sharp relative to the uh, theoretical harmonic frequency.